folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. Today is our second video recipe in Cookie Month. We've already had these fantastic oatmeal and raisin cookies, and today is just amazing. They are Nutella three ingredient cookies. That's right, you just need three ingredients and they're amazing. They melt in your mouth and so quick to make. So if you wanna have a go, hit pause on the video now, write down all these ingredients, and this is why I'm called My Virgin Kitchen. Before we start, you might remember on the oatmeal and raisin video that I actually said I'm a magical unicorn of cookie making, something like that, and I asked you guys to do your own version of turning me into a unicorn. Here's a little selection of them. Brilliant, so I've numbered some of my favourites and the winner will win this bogeyman egg separator. So guys, comment down below, let me know which one you think is the best and maybe I'll make it my Twitter profile picture, something like that. Let's show you how to make these cookies. First thing we'll do is actually warm our Nutella up in the microwave, so around about a minute on 230 second blast. One little tip I wanna show you, okay? The lid, when you take this off, you've normally got that foil wrapper on there, make sure it's all gone or this will happen. Yep, I just wanted to show you that as a health and safety thing, please do not do that, okay? I don't want you to die. All we're gonna do is grab a big old mixing bowl and combine our three ingredients together. So in goes the flour and the eggs and also our Nutella, but leave a little bit in your jar to finish them off later. You wanna get a whisk and whisk it all together. It'll be thick and clumpy. You just gotta keep pointing your way through that clumpiness. Yeah. Sorry, I'm excited, but they taste so good. It's really worth it. Get it all there until it's like a nice, thick, brownie Play-Doh texture. So now we need to get some clean hands into the mixture and grab a clump of that dough, roll it up into a ball and squish it down onto a lined baking tray, patting it out with your hands to get a more cookie shape and just repeat that. You should get enough for about eight large cookies. All you wanna do then is shove it in the oven for a good 10 minutes. When you take them out of the oven, they'll be looking amazing, but they'll be really soft, okay? So don't move them. Literally let them cool down completely on that tray and then you can eat them. But if you wanna add a little bit more to them, what we can do is transfer them to a wire rack and drizzle on some more Nutella all up and down. If you like, you can actually just splodge a whole bit on top. And that's it. Let that Nutella set if you want, if you're patient enough. If not, you get messy face, gobble them up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. They're just so good and simple. And of course, you could take it up a notch by adding actual nuts into the mix as well, if you like. Of course, if you have a nut allergy, you probably don't like uh, Nutella. That's it then, folks. So let me know down below any more cookie recipes you want to see this month. Let me know also the winner of the unicorn prize. And if you want to see any other competitions, check out my last two videos on the screen right now. And I'll see you again next time.